hey guys good morning i am abhimanyu uh, today we are going to start about the class for workforce structure in work area in hca module okay so what is meant by workforce structure so it's like a workforce structure is nothing by the collection of workforce structure objects okay so workforce structure objects like uh, department positions jobs grades locations okay so where we can find this workforce structure in our fusion application the three places we can find it one is like a springboard uh, springboard in work for uh, workforce again we can find it another one we can find out from the setup and maintenance page okay another one we can find out from the task panel so in the three pages we can find out uh, find out this objects okay so either we can create or we can manage uh, those objects in the sc same screen okay so what is the location location you already know what is meant by the location it's like it's showing that you are showing your physical uh, physical address okay so where your the company is present where the department is present so it will be showing you the physical physical address okay so department department is nothing but it's organization so which organization uh, you have okay so this organizations also you can create in the ui uh, or spreadsheet loader okay so the grades so the grade is nothing but it's like when you studied in school you have a different grade right grade structure the same way here also for hcm also we have a grade structure that also we can define uh, in uh, workforce structure then the job so the job is nothing but it's like it's it's what kind of job you are doing it so if i say i'm a manager okay so the manager is my job okay so this manager is like a independent of your location and that department okay wherever you go you are the manager only okay so it will be respective independent of the department and the location then the positions this position is like it will be like a combination of your job grade and departments okay whenever you are creating an employee uh, that time you come to know if you if you if you have a default setup okay in the manage legal entity let's say manage uh, legal entity then automatically whenever you are choosing your position the automatically your job so there will be a, the, there will be a flag for a position synchronization okay so whenever you are choosing your position so it automatically it will be your department location grade automatically it will pop up in your uh, employee screen okay so we will we will create and we will see where exactly it is there in the application so go to the application so if you are here and go to the setup and maintenance i am in the setup and maintenance page uh, click on workforce development so under workforce development subject area so click on the workforce structure functional area so click on all task so here you can find a manage location manage department the same way you can find a position also see grades you can find a job and you can find a position so we will see another another way to create create the push uh, work workforce work structure objects okay so i am in a springboard if you are checking in a springboard where it is my workforce click on my workforce then we have again for workforce structure so click on workforce structure so here also the five objects we have we can create it okay either we can view or we can create it another thing is like click on this task so in the task also you can create you can manage with your departments jobs positions okay okay now we will create a location so one by one we will create in the system okay so here the location either you can create in the spreadsheet or in you can create in ui so spreadsheet will come under the inbound so hdl loader, uh, HDL loader. we will create we will have another class for it okay i am creating in the common reference set uh, you already know about what is meant by reference set right i don't want to restrict my location to uh, between the business unit so i am giving a common set mm, i am giving as a bangalore one so the code also bank one girl one okay so this is the mandatory field so i have to choose our pin code just i'm filling with the mandatory fields okay so i'm choosing us location even though i have declared as a bangalore as a location okay this is for, just for testing
click any geography click on ok ok I'm making this address 1 ok click on submit so we have created our locations in the applications so next we are going to create a department first of all I let you know so it's like here in fusion we don't have any backend okay if you want to see the uh, see your data in your table so I, you have to go to the BA publisher okay so BA publisher create a data model query with the table then you can find uh, you can you can find your data in the backend okay so in fusion we don't have any backend access so what you have to do is click on a skill query so source will be on HCM right so click some name so locations table it will be then select store from HR locations all so this is the view HR location all is the view so click on data and view you can find out the details okay so if you want to make it as a table view click on the table view so this is the location details okay so I have queried with the view if you want to query with your table you can also query with your table for locations underscore f sorry location per location so per location is a table okay here you can find out this is a HR location so HR location is a view so per location is a table so here the internal code so the join condition between the per location and per location details F is like location ID is is the join condition okay here you can find out the location ID so per location details yeah you can query with this location ID you will get the details of the your location okay uh, then we will we are going to create our departments so here the departments you also you can create either in UA or you can do it in spreadsheet So department I am creating it. So department also I am creating in the common set. I am creating dept one. Okay. Location I am not mentioning anything. Click on the details. And this is a workday information. So this workday it will be like a, while creating a person also you will get a workday information, work timing. So if you in the legal entity also we have a work timing so workday we can define in the department also okay depends upon the flag while creating a person so it will choose it will choose which work timing you are so you can choose your uh, you can choose your manager name also here so click on next just like I given a, a department name alone so which is a mandatory field okay so this is my department so click on save see once it is created you will get a notification okay so it may take small uh, it may take a time okay but it, it will create uh, for committing to the database it will take small time okay so if you are query it now you, you will not get the uh, you will not get your department so just give us some time for a synchronization then you will find your created department will be present here okay so what is a table for departments so the per department is a table so if you want to query your data in the per department go to the PA publisher click on per departments click on OK view your data see this is your department data per departments okay so here is like this is the department name 
then another thing is like creating a grade so click on create see here we don't have spreadsheet loader but we can do it from HDL loader okay grade 1 grade 1 1 click on next so if you want to do the setup you can create it this setup also will affect in the same table okay your grade and your grade setup will be in the same table so while saving it, it will it will uh, go with a different line for a grade it will go with a uh, one line for a uh, for a setup it uh, for a step it will go with a different line okay there will be a grade type will be there if it is a grade so it will make it as a grade so if it is a grade set step the type will be on step okay click on next click on submit okay so I have created grades as well so what is the table for a grades it will be a per grade okay so th this is a this is a per grade is a view so per grade F and per grade FTL is the tables okay So the joint condition between these two is like a grade ID. So another is we are going to create a job. Job you can do it either spreadsheet or you can do it in UI. So common set I'm using it. I'm making as yes, job one one. The code also I'm making as yes, job one one. Click on next. you are either a full-time employee or part-time employee whether you are a regular employee or a temporary employee whether the medical checkup is required so if you are joining in the company there will be like uh, busy uh, they will check for the back, uh, background verification right so that's that will come under here so I given my mandatory field Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. I just uh, given a mandatory field, okay? I am not going in the detail on the each objects. So if you know the HRMS, you will you can find the detailed objects. So in the fusion just I am showing how we can create it. So who has experience in R12 or leveling in HRMS module they come to know what is the work structure and what is the what the definition of each objects. Okay. So click on the position. So position I said right the job and the department will be a mandatory for the position. So click on create. So which business unit I am using it using US business unit so click on US click on search click on US business unit I am clicking my name is position one position one so click on next see here department and job is a mandatory if you are previously you have created a department right you can either you can assign the department or you can go with other department I am choosing I am just choosing some other department okay job I am choosing a manager If you want you can choose your location also 
so hiring status from proposal to make it as approved see this grade is automatically defaulted because here we can choose our manager as a job right so while creating a manager job so the job will contain a grade also okay we can the job will contain the valid grade also there you can add a grades okay under under job so i have chosen a manager as a job so under this job we have this many valid grades that's why it's giving these grades here so click on next click on next i'm not choosing any profile values click on next the final page is a review just you can review your pages So meanwhile, just we will check about what is the tables. Okay, so grades we seen it. So job, so the job is like a per job is a, it's a view. For a per jobs, so per job underscore f is a table. So per job f underscore tl. Tl is nothing but the translation. You know that translation for either is a language kind of thing, whether it is a US or Canada or UK. So depends upon the language, it will save in this table. So the for the position, so it will be the it will be the view name is like uh, sorry the table name uh, the view name is like a hr all positions okay so i will check yeah so it's completed click on submit click on okay okay that's it so in this class we have created the workflow workforce object under the workforce work area okay okay that's all for today so if you need uh, any clarification or if you need any training, just contact me through mail. Okay, uh, the training will start by February. So we have a full up starts so for this month. So it's like a new fresh training will be start from uh, February end. Okay, okay guys, thanks for watching it. Bye bye.